Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and the distinct honor of, pre of presenting to you the United States. Members of Congress, the First Lady of the United States, and my fellow Americans, less than one year has passed since I first stood at this podium in this majestic chamber to speak on behalf of the American people and to address their concerns, their hopes, and their dreams. That night, our new administration had already taken very swift action. A new tide of optimism was already sweeping across our land. Each day since, we have gone forward with a clear vision and a righteous mission to make America great again for all Americans. Each test has forged new American heroes to remind us who we are and show us what we can be. We heard tales of Americans like Coast Guard Petty Officer Ashley Leppard, who is here tonight in the gallery with Melania. To craft a bipartisan approach. We all thank you. Thank you very much. We heard about Americans like firefighter David Dahlberg. He's here with us also. David face down in the gallery with Melania. Thank you to David and the Brave people of California, thank you very much, David. Great job. Some trials over the past year touched this chamber very personally. With us tonight is one of the toughest people ever to serve in this house. The legend from Louisiana, Congressman Steve Scalise, who is here tonight in the gallery. for the heroic efforts of the Capitol Police officers, some with Melania. In the aftermath, yes, yes, we came together. We came together as Americans. If there is a mountain, we climb it. If there's a frontier, we cross it. If there's a challenge, we tame it. If there's an opportunity, we seize it. So let's begin tonight by recognizing that the state of our union is strong because our people are strong. And together, we are building a safe, strong, and proud America. Since the election, we have created 2.4 million new jobs, including in the gallery with Melania. Commit
tremendous win. He smashed one record after another. He's at an all-time high. Gaining $8 trillion and more in value in just this short period of time. A lot more. The great news... The great news for Americans, news. Corey Adams, is also with us tonight in the gallery with Melania. Corey is an all-American worker. He supported himself through high school, lost his job during the 2008 recession, and was later hired by Staub, where he trained to become a welder. And he's a great welder. I was told that by the man that owns that company that's doing so well. So congratulations, Corey. I want to talk about what kind of future we're going to have and what kind of a nation we're going to be. All of us together as one team, one people, and one American family can do anything with Melania. We all share the same home, the same heart, the same destiny, and the same great American flag in the gallery. An additional 14 people and expanding into the building next door. Good feeling. We trust. Together we are rediscovering the American way. celebrate our police, our military, and our amazing veterans as heroes who deserve our total and unwavering support. Forty thousand flags at the graves of our great heroes. For the last year, we have sought to restore the bonds of trust between our citizens and their government. Working with the Senate, we are appointing judges who will interpret the Constitution as written, including a great new Supreme Court justice and more circuit court judges than any new administration in the history of our country. totally defending our Second Amendment and have taken historic actions to protect religious liberty. <laughs> we have eliminated more regulations in our first year than any administration in the history of our country. We have ended the war on American energy and we have ended the war on beautiful, clean coal that crippled America's great, beautiful oil workers. We are now very proudly to the world. We are proud that we do more than any other country anywhere in the world to help the needy 
the struggling, and the underprivileged all over the world. But as President of the United States, my highest loyalty, my greatest compassion, my constant concern is for Secretary Mattis with Melania. That they could rule themselves. That they could chart their own destiny. And that together they could light up the entire world. That is what our country has always been about. That is what Americans have always stood for, always strived for, and always done. So that we can get Motor City revving its engines again. And that's what's happening. Catch and release. Tough job. Sungho's story is a testament to the yearning of every human soul to live in freedom. It was that same yearning for freedom that nearly 250 years ago gave birth to a special place called America. It was a small cluster of colonies caught between a great ocean and a vast wilderness. It was home to an incredible people with a revolutionary idea to speed access to breakthrough cures and affordable generic drugs. Last year, the FDA approved more new and generic drugs and medical devices than ever before in our country's history. to protect our citizens of every background, color, religion, and creed, should have access to experimental treatment immediately. And in many cases, for them, it will now be Guantanamo Bay.